Yeah! What's happening, YouTube? Welcome back to my workshop, where you are always more than welcome! In this video, I'm going to show you how to make wooden guitar picks, and then we're going to give them to a real guitar player and find out how they sound. So this is a, an easy beginner woodworking project. It's fast and a great way to use up all the scraps of these hardwoods that you probably have lying around. And in this video I'll show you a few different methods of how to make them um, because you can make them with just hand tools only. No need for lots of complicated machinery. And I even got experimental with a bit of resin on one of them as well. you find links to some of the tools and equipment I used in the description of this video. Shout out to my boy Dave Lovejoy for helping me out with this video. Uh, please check out his channel, he's an amazing guitar teacher and he's putting out some really informative content. And if you stick around till the end of the video, you can hear him shred. So, without further ado, let's make some coffee and get on with the project. So to get things going for this project, I raided my scrap wood box and chose a few nice hardwoods. For making guitar picks, you'd want to use hardwoods, so your walnuts, ebony's, rosewoods will all work. And for this I just chose a nice piece of walnut and sliced it up on the bandsaw until I had a piece that was about 5mm thick. To give me a guide for the shape of the pick, I used an existing plectrum and traced around that with a pencil onto the wood. So then I can move on to cutting. So the first cutting method I'll show you is on the scroll saw. Just being careful, keeping my fingers out of the way, and I just trace the pattern with the scroll saw. Easy peasy. To get rid of those jagged edges, I moved on to hand sanding. Nothing complicated here, I just sanded through a few grits of sandpaper from 240 grit to 600 grit. I just uh, worked in kind of nice tapers on the edges and just got it to a nice shape and a smooth feel. That's pretty much it. To finish it off, I just used a bit of mineral oil and just uh, give it a few coats, let that sit, and the pick was done. For the next pick, I wanted to jazz things up a little. So for this one, I was going to use some leftover glass cast resin. It's just a two-part epoxy resin, so I mixed some together, put in a bit of uh, blue pigment, and then poured that into some offcuts of Marle Burl. With my resin cured, I give this one the bandsaw treatment as well. Just cut a couple of slices that were about 5mm thick. Same again, I traced out the shape of that guitar pick onto the wooden resin. But for this one I thought I'd show you a different way of cutting out the shape. So for this one I actually used a jeweler's saw, it just has a really fine blade on it. And although it takes a little bit longer, I feel that on a piece of wood like this, it's a bit safer than a scroll saw. And as a bonus, there was also less cleanup because it leaves a finer cut. To sand off the faces of the guitar pick, I just sellotaped it to a piece of wood and then used a bench sander or bench sanding attachment on my lathe at least. And this actually worked really, really well. Helped me to kind of get the guitar pick down to about a 3mm thickness pretty quick. And then I just moved on, did the majority of my shaping on the sanding wheel. Just put on some nice kind of contours and curves on those edges before moving on to hand sanding. So again, I moved up to, uh, to 600 grit and then just kind of concentrate on the resin part up to about a 2000 grit. 
To get a nice final shine on the guitar pick, I just used a white polishing compound on a buffing wheel. And that was it, that was the end of the project. So that is the end of the project. Thanks for sticking around. I think what we need to do now is give these to a real guitarist. So it's over to you, Dave. Give us a tune and let us know what you think. And uh, Dan's given me a couple of these picks to try out. So one's got a uh, sort of resin finish, and this one's more of just a natural wood finish. Um, I'm really, really impressed by them. Uh, they're very thick, which is what I usually like to play because uh, they're just a bit more comfy in your hand. And when you're playing metal and playing kind of shreddy kind of stuff, uh, it really stops that resistance from the string, which is really cool. Um, they're not going to be for you if you're playing like Ed Sheeran songs and strumming. You're going to need something a bit more flimsy because these are like super rigid. Um, in terms of sound, uh, this one with the resin gives you more of a brighter sound and this wooden one gives you a duller, uh, warmer kind of sound. So that's kind of just a personal preference kind of thing. Uh, but all in all, I'm very impressed. I think I prefer this resin one just because it looks a little bit cooler and sounds a little bit brighter, which is more for me. Um, I just dropped it on the floor, never mind. But I'm done anyway, so uh, nice one, Dan. Thank you for watching, everyone. Uh, check out Dave's channel. Check out more of my videos. Uh, subscribe. Hit the like button. All the usual YouTube malarkey. Uh, just do what you want. Do what you want, and maybe I'll see you in the next one. Whoosh.